Hey everyone, this is Gershon from Technical Option Traders. Hope you guys are having a great week. Um, so I've been off for a few weeks here, uh, taking some time off, um, but we're back here now. Uh, we'll be posting some consistent videos. Uh, we'll start with some recaps here, uh, just to see what's been going off in the markets. Uh, you know, summer months been uh, great looking like for the markets, right? So we had a rally here, which is quite nice, uh, but just to right away start off looking at this rally, uh, we can just see the volume. It's kind of been flat and leveling off, not a lot of strength into it, right? So the going into September will be key for us, just watching what's to come in September uh, and keeping our eye on that. And uh, what I'm really focused on in the month of September is the Fed's interest rate decision and to see what they do right now. They've decided to stay on the course, but so far the market reacting, uh, you could say positively to that, right? So, um, however, what we want to focus on is uh, market behavior and market structure. Now, this is an important level right here for the market at uh, 430 that uh, it's it's uh, uh, rejecting from or a pivot level, you could say. And as we stretch this level out, we can clearly see that this top right here, this level has been tested multiple times. And right now this rejection is something to note and we'll have to watch what the market does in the coming days because if it starts to turn here, it could be a big reversal to the downside and the catalyst could that be the interest rate decisions uh, that is uh, uh, that is to come uh, in the month of September. Now, uh, just to say here, uh, however, uh, if we look at the bigger picture, which is a weekly, the weekly picture is painting something you can see a little bit different. It is showing that this is a pivot balance for the market um, and uh, it can potentially have a nice move. But then again, this is a very bearish candlestick uh, that is being formed on the weekly time frame. So we'll have to keep an eye on this. And as you can see, this whole move up on the weekly has been on declining volume, which is not positive or which is not favorable when it comes to price action trading. Uh, so let's go into the smaller time frame here and have a look here. So 430 rejection, um, we're, we have to hold this level at 418. If 418 does not hold, it'll go all the way down to 408, becomes a level. If that breaks, uh, we're going to go all the way down to about 395. Now, the biggest level is 364. Obviously, this needs to break to go to the downside. But, you know, for, for now, this is played level by level, 418, then 408. Uh, that is something that we'll have to watch. Um, on the queues, on the other hand, uh, queues made a nice bounce, but queues are still in negative territory and i w i don't like the way uh, this is shaping up for the queues queues have a long way to go and but it makes sense tech does get hit the most um uh when it comes interest rate uh, rises are on the horizon this sector does tend to get hit the most however we have a downtrend line break here um the bigger downtrend line uh is heading this way so this is still intact and then from here this way uh this has been broken down okay so this has been broken but it's still holding for now so right now we're gonna just keep an eye on this and see how it does from here but however uh in tech the volume is getting flat right so it got above this level at 305 then it was able to break out retest the 317 and push above so far uh, according to technical this is a nice push as long as we continue to hold the, this level right here, which is the 304, 303 level, it'll be a great move for tech to push to the upside, okay? But for now, we'll have to keep an eye uh, on the triple Qs and see what the market does here. Uh, looking at the Dow, Dow looks uh, like it's ready to go back up, uh, back into this big consolidation range that it was in previously, okay? So, which is uh, this time frame right here. So it's back into this long-term range uh, or re try to re-enter this level. And uh, we'll see what it does here. This is a, a breakdown rally, uh, sorry, a breakout rally. However, in the bear market, there are a lot of rallies that come up. Uh, so we have to be cautious and how it happens. You have a gap down. So we'll have to see how the next couple of weeks uh, play out for the Dow. But if we look at the bigger picture on the Dow, this does look like a breakdown and a retest and a fail. Uh, we'll have to see how the sell volume comes in, if sellers are strong here on the market or not, or if the buyers just continue to push up and with how much volume. The main uh, catalyst that we have to pay attention to is the volume and the participation behind that move. Uh, for uh, the next week, uh, next coming week, uh, it's going to be important. Uh, so to say, we have uh, GDP data that is coming out um you know we have personal income personal spending uh fed uh, fed uh jerome powell is speaking so we'll have to we'll have to keep that in mind and we have to be very very cautious uh on that and uh, we'll go from there but for now uh the way the market is moving and the way the technicals are setting up even on a smaller time frame 
these are all being rejected at key levels and we'll have to see if buyers have enough stamina in them uh, or enough buying power to push this out uh, looking at IWM IWM which was looking like a bear flag it is no longer the case okay so IWM complete breakdown nice rally to the upside however this is still holding uh, the downside move um, in hand okay so we have to just look at this and uh, look at that as well so this is still holding these levels okay so we'll have to see if IWM can hold this support at 190 to 188 consolidate here and break out above 210 if it can we can definitely get a push back up to 226 but for now IWM is still below here uh, if you look at the four hour chart it'll be nice for IWM to break above 209 then to go and test a 226 level okay so looking at the VIX um, the VIX is still holding on, which is interesting, and it's consolidating. Okay, it's not really breaking down. Like I said, I would like to see VIX below 20. Uh, it did get below 20 for a little bit right about here, uh, but still, I would like to see it break below 20, and that would give me more uh, a positive, uh, a positive uh, in, uh, sentiment into the market. But for now, it's that's not what I'm getting. Uh, VIX is very, very, uh, you know, it's still consolidating. So this is very cautiously. Uh, you know, you'll be watching this. You should not take the VIX lightly. Like this is telling a story of its own uh, that we're not out of the woods just yet. Um, gold, on the other hand, gold, huge. Uh, we had a sell off uh, all the way down to 158. Then we had a rise to 168. Now breaking down. I've been bare, I've been out of gold uh, at the break of 175. I'm watching it. If you look at the monthly time frame, it's still holding this these levels right here, which are important. But it's interesting to see that market recovering gold selling off which is a positive sign actually when uh, you know we can see that people are starting to leave gold and re-enter back into the uh, back into the market uh, so this could be one of the early indicators that maybe people are getting uh, maybe money is starting to flow back into the markets but you know we'll have to take that with a grain of salt and uh, we'll see how that goes now if we look at uh, kweb which is china china showed a nice consolidation move here but their uh, gdp numbers and overall economic numbers disappointed and now you can see china started to come down and go back to retest this level and chinese stocks are not holding on if we break this level which is a two, the 23 level um, and we fill this gap China could come down much lower uh, up to 20 uh, but this gap and this area is huge consolidation zone if it can hold 23 and bounce we could just keep chopping around in the zone for quite some time but this is something that I would be watching out for uh, the stocks in the long term when it comes to uh, Chinese stock uh, if we look at Bitcoin Bitcoin huge breakdown as you guys can see it tried to bounce the bear flag broke down if it breaks below 20,200 uh, we're gonna go and test the 16,000 level very very soon for Bitcoin that's what it's looking like so what we will also have to keep an eye on this however on this down move as you guys can see this is a huge down move and we had rising volume before but now we have declining volume so we'll see how if this down move at the break of this pans out or we start to get a bounce uh, or a consolidation so this is my overall synopsis for the coming week uh, we'll see how it goes hope you guys trade safe